Well, basically, uh, should have similar squad to what happened uh, last week against Everton. Maybe Danny Welbeck will be back, and uh, we had a few uh, uh, problems with Peter Cech, who is not sure at the moment. He has not practiced, you know, so I don't know if he will be available. And uh, Nacho Monreal looks uh, all right again. So it should be a similar squad. If Petr Cech isn't available, David Ospina has shown in this fixture in the past, hasn't he, that he's more than capable of... Yeah, he is no... I have no problem uh, with that, you know, David Ospina or Peter Cech. I will make that decision tomorrow. Um, when you look back at the North London derbies over your time here, what are the memories that stand out to you? Uh, the memories is always a huge passion, you know, uh, before the game and uh, the emotional state that becomes a bit more agitated. I worked with Pat Rice at the start when I arrived for many years, so he, uh, he of course, got me very quickly on that territory. And uh, so of all, it's always a, a game that is a bit more charged emotionally because of the importance it has for us, for the fans, for everybody around the club. But uh, this season, I must say as well, uh, for us, it's a, if you look at the table, it's as well a, a very important game. Pat Rice, in the past, was one of the key people who um, told the new players coming in about the importance and the significance of this fixture. Who takes up that role now? Do they even need to be well, the players know, and uh, because we have many players who are here for years, but as well, you know, uh, the good thing in sport is that you have to find a good balance between uh, being uh, rational and emotional, and uh, as much as you have to be uh, certainly emotionally charged because of the importance of a game, it helps you to get the, the high energy level. Once you're on the pitch, you have as well to be calm and focused and uh, and uh, make uh, good decisions and that's why you have not to let uh, the emotions take over and uh, at the end of the day it will be, it's down to making good decisions on the football pitch. It's getting quite late to make a call on Petr Cech. Does that not represent something of a, uh, of a risk in a fixture like this? I will not take any uh, risk if he's not 100% fit for sure because I have full confidence in David Ospina. You said many years ago that despite this being a local fixture, it wasn't the biggest game on Arsenal's radar during the season. Has that changed much now? Do you see this as among the very biggest games of the season? No, it's the next one. So the next one is the biggest, you know, and uh, it is a big game because we are behind in the table and uh, we have to make uh, uh, some catch up. So I must say personally, I think it's more important uh, mathematically for us to come back as quickly as possible than uh, uh, emotionally charged because uh, I know the importance of this game for over 20 years but uh, for us it's uh, an opportunity to come back in the table closer to the Champions League spot and uh, that is uh, the priority. You have a very good record at Wembley in recent years. Could a factor like that prove decisive in a, a game like this? Decisive, no. It has a little uh, weight in it because we feel uh, uh, we have a good level of performances there, so uh, we'll not feel too much uh, uh, away in that situation. But overall, I believe that it will be anyway down to the performance of the day. Will the Wembley element make much of a difference? I mean, you've not played Tottenham at Wembley in your time here, a couple of games before you arrived. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think so. I, I just think... Uh, for us, it will be more to sort out the tactical problems and uh, to be at the level of performance we want to be. We have to play our fluent football. And uh, but, uh, what Wembley gives you is a good quality of uh, the pitch to allow you to play uh, the kind of game you want to play. Alexandre Lacazette didn't get off the bench against Everton. Was that a difficult conversation, having to drop him down? Has he taken that news well? Does he understand that new players coming in mean that it's a bit more crowded in that area of the pitch. You do not have to understand too much, you know. Uh, and the, oh, the phone. Uh, you want what you want is that uh, everybody focuses to win the game. Is it uh, do they start the game or not? Uh, and uh, in this game, it didn't uh, come on because we had a problem with the goalkeeper. 
but uh, of all, uh, you do not want as well the players too much to understand why we don't play. They don't understand, and I, I agree completely with them. They want all to play, and that's uh, natural and normal. So, better striker in Europe right now than Harry Kane obviously hit the 100 mark in the Premier League? Uh, if you look at the numbers, no, uh, because he has uh, high numbers, but uh, I believe that uh, what you want in a game like that is uh, to keep him quiet and our, our strikers who are top class in Europe as well uh, to express that talent. Their manager, Mauricio Pochettino, gave some comments the other day. He said that football is about tripping the opponent. He almost seems to be defending the acts of uh, diving. What does, uh, what does someone like you make of that? Football, uh, I, I'm convinced that he wanted to say tricking your opponent is to be to say you have to be clever, you know. Uh, how far uh, was it an apology for diving? I'm not sure at all, you know. I don't think he would. Uh, on, in my personal case, no. So of all, I must say uh, we have to get the diving out of the game. I remember there was tremendous cases here when it was the foreign players who did it. But I must say, the English players have learned very quickly and they are maybe the masters now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some comment, comments a few, <laughs> a few days ago from the Borussia Dortmund CEO saying that uh, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang would help performances before he joined Manchester United. Did that ring any alarm bells in your head about his, his character, his personality perhaps? Uh, can you repeat that? Yeah, the Borussia Dortmund CEO last week said, or earlier this week, said that Aubameyang withheld performances before he left uh, Borussia Dortmund. I.e., he wasn't giving his hand to his best. I don't believe so. I, if you look well at the history, uh, he played only one game. You know, uh, he played. Uh, they suspended him for two or three games, one before the break and one after the break. So. Uh, he played only one game at home uh, where they played the 2-2, I think, against the, the Bremen. So uh, maybe he was not completely ready physically to perform at his best. But uh, I don't believe that uh, he didn't want to perform. Just finally, from, from me, just looking at the Riyad Mahrez um, situation, do we have to accept that that's the modern game now, that is within the gift of a modern player, or would his conduct possibly make a leading manager, leading coach, leading club even shy away from signing a player who's displayed that, that kind of conduct? No, you want uh, the clubs to behave well and the players to behave well. In uh, the case of Mares, who I know a little bit the story, I wouldn't like to come out uh, on that because uh, it's very difficult for me to assess what's happening in a, in a different club. So, of all, uh, what you want is the players to behave 100% professional and committed to the club. And uh, I wouldn't like to, to assess the situation at Leicester. It's not, not my job to do that. Arsene, I know you just said that you think diving is something that we need to get out of football. And, um, I mean, do you actively tell your players not to dive? I don't tell my players to dive, you know. Uh, Do you but, tell them uh, not to dive? Uh, not to dive, yes. I don't encourage them to dive at all. Uh, but uh, if you look at the situation, I think uh, uh, when sometimes you do not want to provoke a dive as well, and sometimes you want your players to be intelligent, they play a little bit with the rules, they make more of it. Uh, on the penalty case, that's a little bit, uh, every striker will do that, you know, they extend a little bit the, the rules. Where it, is it, uh, how far can you go? That's down to the referees and to the, I think uh, sometimes in uh, at normal speed, it's very difficult to determine, I must say. Uh, I, on that front, as much I can be harsh with the referees, on that front I'm quite, uh, tolerant with the referees because uh, when you watch a game live it's very difficult at 100 percent pace to distinguish was it a dive or not most of the time when the players go into a goalkeeper they push the ball away f from goal I, I think they had a good rule in england when i arrived here when a, a striker pushed the goal away the ball away from the goal they didn't give penalties because they, the only resource the striker has after is to look for a penalty you know and uh, uh, in many cases, it's that like it's like that. Now, if a guy goes in, uh, in 
if he's a goalkeeper, the keeper has the hands off, but of course the guy leaves the leg as long as he can to make sure that the, the, the keeper touches him. But it's not really a penalty. The North London derby on Saturday, is it, you, you said you're playing, you're, you're a little bit behind Spurs and Liverpool yep. and Chelsea, is it, is it a must not lose game? I mean, we spoke last week about your away form. It's more want to win game. We want to win this game and uh, uh, we want absolutely, uh, we have a good opportunity and uh, we want to take it. I think nearly all of your players would have had some experience of playing at Wembley, but some like Aubameyang and Mkhitaryan would be their first experience of a North London derby. Um, you've already said it's different to any other game, but in, in terms of trying to keep their emotions in check, how would you do that? Just by focusing on the performance and on the, with our team play, we want to on focusing on how we want to play the game uh, tactically and technically. And uh, once the game has started, these guys have experience. Uh, they've played top level games, you know, they know what is important. And uh, they know that the most important will be to focus on, on the performance. Um, finally, I'm sure you've done all your homework on Spurs, but. Um, the Newport manager had a little dossier that got leaked this week and apparently Juventus uh, asked for the dossier on the Spurs weaknesses. If you going to ring up the Newport manager and maybe uh, ask for that dossier as well? Yeah, we will call him straight away when I come out of a press conference. <laughs> um, Arsene, with the arrival of Obama Young and Mkhitaryan, have you noticed that the dynamic, the team dynamic within the dressing room has changed and if so, how? Uh, it gives always a new hope, you know, to, to fresh players who come in with, with their talent. But the most important will be the, the team performance. Uh, I just spoke uh, in a different interview about Mikitain. He came in, uh, he, his first experience was at Swansea, was not very positive. After we played against Everton, it was very positive. So that's what you want, is to have a, a positive history. And then uh, at the start, it gives you a swing upwards, but after it has to be backed uh, by the, their individual performances and by the results of the team. Last week you said that uh, you were going to try to find internal solutions to improve your defence. So have you found those solutions to be able to stop Harry Kane? Answer on Saturday, you know, uh, I can talk and talk and talk. At the end of the day, it's the numbers that will show that. And uh, the best way for us is uh, to have the ball, it's the best way to defend and uh, to take the game to them and after that when you don't have the ball to defend as a team. And lastly for me, when Pochettino arrived in this country five years ago, a lot of people were saying, who is he? And similarly, when you arrived in this country, you had Arsene Who. Yeah. Have you been surprised by how quickly he has settled into life in the Premier League and how successful he's been? <coughs> Uh, yes and no, because I uh, think always when a manager comes in that uh, certainly the club has done his homework and uh, that he has some talent and uh, he, has proven, he has proven that since he's here. So he has done a good job and uh, uh, that's what you want. You wish every manager who comes into the game, who comes into the Premier League to bring he something special and uh, to be capable to survive in, uh, in a world that is quite... Uh, very harsh and very demanding. We sort of touched on the, um, the Wembley record already, but you've won the last nine games you've played there. What, what is it about Wembley that seems to bring out the best in us? Well, it was always very important games for us, you know, and uh, vital games, and uh, that's why the focus was there. I don't. Uh, is that special link with the players? No, it's just linked with the fact that uh, at Wembley you play big games where you. You are under pressure to perform, and uh, we responded every time well to it. Would you prefer to play this game at Wembley rather than White Hart Lane? Though? Yes, because we have a positive history there, and uh, and uh, uh, of course, uh, Wembley is a pitch uh, that is of quality, a stadium where you have a big crowd, and there's always a special day in your mind. So, overall, yes.